Hey, this is Anso. I'm here with your boy, sometimes the girl, Charlotte Carolina. And that's no longer his slogan, but that's his what? Real name. And we're going to do another uh, uh, reaction to animation. We started this, we had a little technical difficulties, but now we're back. All right. Final year of high school. My boyfriend Jason is one year older than me, and he has already finished school and moved to another town where he is attending college. So this year, we haven't seen each other often, college, maybe once every couple of months. I'm planning to move to the same town and go to the same college where I will study art while he is in the computer science program. Of course, Jason has made a lot of new friends there. And he is not really eager to spend six or seven hours driving to see me in our hometown. And I have a lot of studying to do in my final year. So we both cannot afford to see each other frequently anyway. And we are totally fine with that, as long as we remain a couple. Life is hard sometimes, and we both accept that at the present time, we need to concentrate on what is the most important for us while still maintaining our relationship. But right now, I can't be sure if we'll manage to stay together as a couple. How did this happen? I'm going to tell you. It was one of those happy days when Jason had found some time to come to our hometown to see me. We were cozily cuddling on the sofa, watching a movie, when he suddenly fell asleep. Tired from the long drive home in a shared car, which his friends and he were taking turn driving. I was sitting next to him, looking with tenderness at my sweetheart, thinking about what his college life was like, wondering why he posted so few pictures of his new friends and surroundings on his Instagram account. He left his smartphone on the table, buried under the bowls of popcorn, half-empty potato chip bags, soft drink cans, and barely eaten chocolate bars. In other words, under everything that we had prepared for a quiet movie night at home. I could not resist the temptation, so I took his smartphone and holding it in one I hand know. and a chocolate bar in another. Oh, no temptation. The pictures. Want to oh, please. Why, why do you say that? Because, uh... Everybody got a phone. It's not like it's something she don't know about. Yeah, she, she, she wanted to, uh, Right. She knows it. it wasn't there tempting her for something that she didn't know. She knew what she was going there to look for. I feel you. I feel you. And if you got your phone and he don't look through your phone, you shouldn't be looking through his phone whether he's there or not. Okay, but what, what, what if? She actually did want to see what the college friends looked like. Well, I'm sure she did. I'm sure. I, 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 I'm sure. And she wanted to see if there was somebody special, a special college friend in there, too. That was the main reason, not just to see his friends. Because I think she had seen a picture, but she said that he didn't put a lot of pictures of his friends on there. So she had seen them. She just didn't see many pictures of them so she wasn't necessarily going there to look well she was going to look and see if there was somebody special so yeah I don't mind seeing your friends again but I want to see if one of them friends is kind of special to you what you think about that I can agree Because I know for a fact if I was looking through there, that would be why I would be looking through there. I'm not going to look through there just to see nothing. I'm going to look through there. Cause, especially if it's like that. Because if I just wanted to see his friends, I could have said, yo, show me pictures of your friends. You don't ever show me many pictures of them. And neither he has them or he, he doesn't. But because I'm trying to find out something else, that's why I waited till he left. So I'm nosing being sneaky. Don't think that I was spying on my boyfriend. 
I wasn't thinking anything like that at all. Liar. I only wanted to look at the pictures of his college life. Michael, if you didn't want to say that. He told me a lot about it when we talked on the phone almost every other night, but he never sent me pictures, and I wanted to see what his friends looked like. So I was scrolling through dozens of pretty but also standard pictures when suddenly I saw a bunch of pics where my Jason was dressed up in a fluffy pink dress and was wearing an excessive amount of makeup with pink lipstick and glitter eyeshadow. Mm. He was posing on the street and it was late at night judging by the dim lights. Jason was surrounded by a crowd of boys I did not know, except for one. It... Where can I get help if I don't feel safe? At your fingertips. Our app has an emergency button that puts drivers and riders through to 911 in seconds. Learn more at Man. uber.com slash safety. He's a sugar boot on the streets. It was his roommate, Merrick. And in one of the pictures, Jason was kissing or pretending to kiss Merrick on the cheek with his pinky colored lips. I was shocked and could not come up with any explanation for these bizarre actions. But I thought that Jason would tell me what was going on and how it happened that he, dressed in a pink frilly dress, kissed his roommate. Right at that moment, Jason fidgeted and woke up. I barely managed to put his smartphone back on the table. I decided that this evening, I wasn't going to ask any questions. I was too nervous because of what I saw and was afraid that I might say something wrong. In addition, by the time we had finished watching the movie, I had to hurry home since it was getting late and my old-fashioned parents still expected me to come home to sleep. The next mm -hmm. morning, Jason and I went out for a breakfast together. Sipping my coffee, I casually asked him what his life was like at college, how his roommate Merrick was doing, and what kinds of jokes and pranks they did at his dorm and in computer science school. He told me so many stories did about his studies and about his friends, but nothing about the cross-dressing pranks. But I did not give up. I pretended that I was very interested in his friends. Well, in fact, I was, and asked him if he had any pictures. Jason willingly took his smartphone out and started showing me the pictures that I had already seen yesterday, making comments and explaining to me who was who, where these pictures were taken, and when. Jason scrolled through all the pictures but on his smartphone, but there were no pink dress-wearing boys. Did it mean that he had erased them? But why? At that moment, I felt really uncomfortable. Was he hiding something from me? But this Duh. time, I did not get a chance to find out. Jason had to get going. He jumped in his rental car, picked up his friends, and left town. The new semester was starting in just two days, and he had to plan his schedule, get his textbooks, and do everything that was needed to prepare for another studying marathon. Well, as I said, it was totally acceptable since we both agreed that our studies were a priority. If only I hadn't seen those strange pictures, I had to find out. The best way would have been, of course, to just ask him directly when but he came home the next known time. But I was reluctant for two reasons. Yeah, First, how is a girl supposed to ask her boyfriend if he is gay? I think it could be difficult to Yo, come up bro. with a more stupid situation. Second, and even worse, way. I would have to admit that I looked through his phone while he was asleep, and I had no I idea how he that, but that. To know. So instead, I decided to talk to Merrick. The easiest way, of course, would be to chat with him on Facebook. We were not following each other's accounts there, but his profile was open to everyone, and I could easily scroll through it and see his photos, read the comments under them, and perhaps understand what he was doing there together with Jason in their spare time. Can you guess what I saw there? Exactly. Merrick, dressed in a canary yellow dress, wearing high-heeled shoes, proudly marching down the street, lit by lanterns. And he was not alone, but holding hands with my precious Jason. Jason was dressed in his regular clothing in these pictures, and I don't even know whether this reassured me or alarmed me even more. After that, 
I realize that I've had to meet Merrick and talk to him on their campus, in person. This was going to be complicated. I had to be careful and prepare for the visit in order to really find out what was happening. Finally, I had everything planned. Jason told his parents and me that he was coming home for the next long weekend. But I pretended that I was going away with my parents. They were going to see my father's brother, my uncle, in another state. Although in reality, I took a bus and went to the town where his college was. I knew where Jason lived, and I was lucky. Merrick was there alone. I started some small talk with him, and quietly turned it to the various pranks and jokes that were hot among students. But as soon as I started asking Merrick about whether they have cross-dressing parties, somebody suddenly entered the room. It was Jason. Merrick, laughing hysterically, asked Jason what exactly he told me about their bet with the guys from the neighboring room, which they lost, and which meant they had to cross-dress. But Jason did not find it funny at all. I have never told you about the bet. So how did you find out? Where did you see these pictures? I never told you a word about them, he asked angrily. Wow, take it easy, bro. Don't be so mad, said Merrick, who was still laughing and was now starting to mock Jason for being so different and not showing these cute pictures to his girlfriends. Merrick then opened his Instagram profile where he had placed the very pictures that I had already seen there he was, proudly smiling, dressed in a ridiculous canary yellow dress, wearing bright crimson lipstick and looking right into the camera with his smoky eyes. Jason looked all so gorgeous, no doubt, and the guys took some pics on his camera, so, huh, you must have snuck into his smartphone while he was asleep. All girls do that, said Merrick with a cunning smile. But I thought Bree was different, Jason answered with bitterness. Then he turned toward me and asked, almost yelling at me, How dare you go through my stuff? Did you see what was happening? Yes, I understood that what I had done was not really right, and I was already feeling ashamed of it. But anyway, Jason should have told me about that stupid bet, and his silence only mean that he didn't trust me. And now he was so angry, even though he was guilty too, guilty of silence and of hiding things from his girlfriend. Well, no. I had Fuck no intention me. of talking to him in this way. And even the fact that he decided to not go back to our town when he found out that I wouldn't be there did not soften my heart. So I turned around and left the campus in huff. I didn't want to talk to Jason ever again. But on the ride home, I had already started to regret that I did not manage to keep my temper in check. But then I returned home and immersed myself in my studies. And you know, I began to realize that I didn't really miss Jason. He had his own life there. And despite the fact that we had agreed on every little thing about our relationship at one time, usually people who love each other just trust each other, right? Yes, it was just a bet. But if he kept silent about the little things, would he not keep silent about much more important things in the future? But still, it was my fault. I shouldn't have taken his phone. And I decided that I would take the first step toward reconciliation and went to his college again. And guess what? It turned out that he had already gotten himself a new girlfriend. Well, I will give him and myself time to think. And when I finish school and come to his college, which by that time will be my college too, Maybe we will get back together. Or maybe not. I haven't decided yet. What do you think? Is it worth you hiding something from those you're close with? <laughs> Tell me in the comments. Her. And do not forget to subscribe to uh, this channel.